Okay guys, so as some of you may know, there was a post today in which, I believe it was Mod Kieran, gave the chances of getting drops from raids, and he put uh, this image up here, which basically shows you all the chances of getting the given drops at raids. Um, so what I've done is I've made a spreadsheet um, which takes into account all the probabilities of getting rewards and uniques and everything and from this calculates the average money per hour from doing raids um, so what I've done um, just to if I show you guys what I've done is over here I've taken the to these were the values you saw on the spread on the picture and what I've done is I've put the current G price of each item here and then it just sums up all those. So it's basically like how raids work is it's a roulette reel. You hit the chance of getting a drop and then you get spun on this wheel to see what actual drop you get. So there are 84 slots on the wheel and these items occupy the given slots like so. So then what I've done is I've worked out the uh, average GP profit per raid per point so it takes into account all of the GE prices all of the items on the wheel and it generates a profit co a profit value um, if I just scroll this way a bit so as you can see I've also done it with twisted burn without twisted bow because um, due to the sheer cost of twisted bow you can see it makes quite a big difference to your estimated alley profit so I've made two different ones one which is includes the twisted bone one which doesn't so then what i've done here is these are like the decision variables that you can change so i believe average time for raids including scouting gives roughly 40 minutes per raid if you give time for scouting which comes out at 1.5 raids per hour so then you can work out the number of points that you receive uh, this was per person involved in the team because um if you include, uh, if you think of the the way that uh, you get a drop, is depending on team points. So this is for every person in your team. And then I've also given you a thing here to take into account um, the supply that you spend on each raid. I've also given you these cells here. Um, what these do is they give you the standard reward for a raid. Um, you can edit this to be whatever you would like it to be. Uh, I believe Wux has put some values out there, but the profit really depends on what you get as your drop. So you can edit these as your wish to make your your values differently as well. So I've just changed that to this color in order to show that there are variables that you should change. So then these are here are the two values for your profit per hour that you get and so for example if you were to give yourself everyone in your team 25,000 points your profit per hour goes up as such then you can take out your um, supply loss let's say, say it was even 250,000 per raid it comes out and then you can give yourself five raids per hour or whatever you want and it will change the value and give you an estimated for your hourly profit um, I'd say going for the without twisted bow estimate is probably better because uh, you're, you are very unlikely to get a twisted bow reward from raids. Um, so yeah, um, at the moment all the values here are, I've manually inputted them. However, if this video gets enough like likes and well, I don't really like enough people are interested in the spreadsheet basically, then I'll do it so that these values are generated automatically um, from the GE price, so that this spreadsheet will always remain up to date. But yeah, I hope this is useful, and I will get around to putting the link to the spreadsheet in the description, so you can change the values yourself to work out you know your hourly profit that you would expect from raids to decide whether it's worth it or whether you'd rather do Zara or what have you for profit um, yeah I hope it's useful um, let me know a comment down in the description if you'd have done the spreadsheet differently um, as I said I'll be putting it online and making it um, editable so that um, you can change this to whatever you want uh, please don't destroy the formulae and stuff like that 
Um, but if I do manage to um, do this, I, I will do it at some point, even if it doesn't get that much interest. I'll put all the links in the description to where the spreadsheets can be found. Um, so yeah, I hope this was helpful, really. Uh, yeah, bye.